In this video, Digital Sound Generator SN76489 is programmed using Arduino to generate different tone frequencies. The SN76489 is a digital complex sound generator, which was used back in the 80s to generate music and sound effects in game consoles, arcade games, and home computers. The IC has three programmable tone generators and a programmable noise generator. The IC also has a programmable attenuation to give us 16 levels of volume control. The IC can be powered with an external 4 MHz clock oscillator. A microprocessor or a microcomputer programs the IC by sending bytes of data. To set the frequency of the tone, or to generate noise, or to control the volume. To set the frequency of the tone, we need to send two bytes of data to the IC. The first byte will contain a 3-bit register address. According to this truth table, this value will select one of the eight control registers inside the IC. We will consider the three registers here, the tone 1 frequency register, part of channel 0 and the tone 2 frequency register part of channel 1 and the tone 3 frequency register part of channel 2 so if we put a value of 0 0 0 here it means we are selecting channel 0 which will generate a tone 1 signal we also have a 10 bit value which represents the frequency of the tone which is divided between the first byte and the second byte. This bit here represents the most significant bit and this bit represents the least significant bit. The next example will demonstrate how to program the chip so that we have a, a tone with a certain frequency. In this example we want to generate a 1 kilohertz tone using the tone 1 generator in channel 0. To find the 10-bit uh, 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 frequency value, we use this formula, which is the clock frequency divided by 32 divided by the required frequency. The reason we divide by 32 is that 32 clock cycles are required to load the data into the control register. So we apply the formula. We have 4 MHz divided by 32 divided by 1 kHz which gives us a decimal value of 125 and its equivalent 10-bit binary value is shown here. Next we determine the two bytes we want to send to the IC. In the first byte this most significant bit is always 1 and these three bits here determine the type of control register since we are using channel 0 so we put the value of 000. zero, zero. Now these four bits here, this is being the least significant bit, will be copied here. And for the second byte, these two bits are always zero. And the remainder of the 10 bit value here, this being the most significant bit, will be copied into the uh, second byte uh, value. Therefore, to generate a 1 kilohertz tone, we need to send two bytes. The first byte is shown here, and the second byte is shown here. This table shows you uh, different tone frequencies, starting with the minimum frequency we can achieve, which is 122 hertz. This value gives us a 10-bit value of all ones, so this is the minimum. To generate the noise sound, we need to send this byte. These three bits determine the register address and it should be for the noise control register and the value is 110. This is the feedback bit. 0 gives us periodic noise, 1 gives us white noise. And these two bits here determine the shift rate or the frequency of the noise signal and we have three different frequencies for values 00, 01 and 10. Finally, to control the volume of the uh, three tone channels and the noise channel, we send this byte here. These three bits here are the register address bits, and they determine whether we are controlling the volume of tone 1 
or tone 2 or tone 3 or the noise channel. These four bits determine the attenuation level or the volume level and we have 16 different levels so all zeros will give us maximum volume and all ones will give us zero volume. So for example if we want to set the volume of uh, channel 1 to maximum so in this case it's going to be 1 and then 0 0 1 and then 0 0 0 which is a hexy value of 9 0. This is a circuit diagram showing the interfacing of the IC with the Arduino Nano. The data lines D0 to D7 are connected to eight uh, digital pins of the Arduino and the write enable is connected to another digital pin. The chip enable is grounded. The clock input is connected to a 4 megahertz oscillator and the audio output is connected to this uh, 3.5 uh, millimeter jack adapter where an external speaker with amplifier is connected. If you don't have a speaker with amplifier, an amplifier circuit is required here as an interface. In the next video clip, a demonstration will show the playing of different uh, tone frequencies starting with 122 Hz for one second, and then 200 Hz for another second, and then 300 Hz for one second, and then 500 Hz for one second, and then the audio of the 500 Hz tone will attenuate slowly until it is muted. A quick look at the C++ sketch. These are macros which indicate the connection of the data lines and the write enable of the SN76489 IC with the digital pins of the Arduino. Inside the setup function, we mute all the uh, channels of the chip by calling this function. Inside function silence all channels, we send four bytes to mute the four channels, channel 0, 1, 2 and the noise channel and the bytes are sent by calling this function here. With reference to the timing diagram from the datasheet of the IC, in order to send a byte from a microprocessor to the IC, we need to first to make sure that the chip enable is low and that the write enable is high. And then we put the byte on the data lines from D0 to D7 and then we pull the write enable uh, pulse to low. This will then strobe the data inside the internal register of the chip. And then we pull the write enable pulse high again. So inside function send byte, this function will receive the byte to be sent to the IC. And then we put the write enable pulse high. And then we put the byte on the data lines by calling this function and then we set the uh, pulse of the right enable to low to strobe the data and then we pull it back again high. Function put byte will receive the byte to be sent and store it in variable b and then using digital write will send the byte bit by bit starting from the least significant bit up to the most significant bit. Inside the loop function, we first set the uh, volume of channel 0 to maximum by sending this byte. And then we send these two bytes to set the tone at channel 0 to 122 Hz for one second. And then we set the tone to 200 Hz, and then 300 Hz, and then 500 Hz. And then using this for loop, we gradually attenuate the volume of the 500 Hz tone until it is totally muted and the process is then repeated continuously. In conclusion, the SN76489 is a very useful IC for generating different sound effects and retro game music. In my next video, I'll use the chip to generate sound having multiple tracks including a track for noise. Thank you for watching.